They are in the game. <laughs> and they're off at Saratoga. Welcome to Pink Sheet Insider. My name is David Johnson. I'm a sports writer at the Saratogian and Pink Sheet. And next to me is columnist Michael Beach. And good to see you on another, another nice day at Saratoga. Absolutely. Uh, we're talking about Thursday's uh, featured Birdstone Stakes. It's race four, going uh, a mile and three quarters on the main track. And in a mile and three quarters, you don't get you don't get many opportunities to run that far, David. But we have a favorite in here, do we not? Yeah, it looks like uh, micromanaged from Todd Plush. And I agree with you. Micromanage, if he goes, will be most likely odds on. He's the field's leading money earner, and if he can come anywhere near his close second in the Brooklyn handicap at a mile and a half, he should be hard to handle in the Birdstone. Uh, any other horses you want to look out for? I think in the pink sheet, I'm going to uh, have a story on Slim Shady, who's kind of interesting. Uh, trainer David Jacobson sort of taking a shot, moving an old turf horse onto the main track after an experiment at Monmouth Park. He should get the distance, micromanage is proven at the distance, and if you're looking for pedigree, I would consider Don Dolce also at the, at the distance. And one final note, who was Birdstone? Birdstone was owned by Mary Lou Whitney Stables, and she won the tra he won the Travers, and upsets Marty Jones' Triple Crown bid in 2004. All right, we'll be back tomorrow with another beer.